Hey everyone, Gina here with Balanced Body Solutions and it has been a little over a year since my pacemaker surgery and I've had a few videos put out there for you guys so I wanted to do um, an updated one um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I just want to say that I have done so very well. I forget I even have the thing like 99% of the time. Um, and as far as my strength, range of motion, everything has returned. Um, I do a lot of Olympic lifting. I've actually had a lot of PRs this year. Um, so point being, if you um, are willing to work through it and you don't have any you know, special issues with your pacemaker, um, you should be able to bounce back uh, without any issues at all. Um, I also want to kind of give an update on some things after the precautions um, are released you still may find that you do have some um, limitations when you start trying to go above uh, the 90 degrees. So I wanna show you guys a couple of things um, that I found really, really helpful. This first one is a great stretch and honestly, this is good whether you have a pacemaker or not. A lot of people lack mobility um, in getting their arm behind. So taking a rope, um, a towel, anything like that will work really well. And you're just gonna grab the rope in the bag for the towel and then you're just using the front hand to help the back slide and you're just going to go until you find a good stretch point this one can cause some discomfort so i wouldn't necessarily push the issue too much um, also make sure when you're doing this that you're keeping your core a little bit tight so that you're not like arching doing anything kind of strange that way um, we're also going to do a tricep stretch. So this one is focusing on bringing the arm up overhead. So if you just now started working outside of the 90 degrees, this one's going to be a little bit tough for you. So it's going to be using the back hand now to pull the front up. This one also, you want to make sure your core is tight, that you're not going to start leaning back keeping everything nice and tight as you're stretching. This one also is usually tight for a lot of people. So another just good stretch for anybody for the shoulders. And as far as the repetitions, like I always say, somewhere between five and 10, but if it feels really good and you wanna do more than that, that's fine. You're not gonna overdo these types of stretches. So that's tricep. This next one that I'm gonna show you um, kind of expands on what I showed you in one of the other videos, which is using your good hand um, to help the other go up overhead. So you can just bring it up this way and down. If you find you're having a lot of difficulty controlling that and you're not real comfortable with it, you can start um, from here and then just kind of work on arms bent and coming up. That'll kind of shorten that lever arm a little bit and might be more comfortable for you to do that. But of course, working on trying to get the arms all the way down. Then some external rotation work, uh, especially if you were in a sling for a while Again, it seems to be something that's really varied uh, depending on your doctor. So if you're in your sling for a while, you're really gonna have to work on getting that full external rotation. So the best place to start is with your arm close to your body. And just working on stretching out, seeing if you can get your hand as close as possible to the floor. Then you're just gonna slide up a little bit. You're gonna do the same thing. Just gonna work through that. And you'll slide up a little bit more and work through that. And once you're at the point that you're able to get uh, basically shoulder level and pretty far down here, then you can just start working on sliding the arm up overhead. And then once you have that, then you would have both uh, full range of motion in the front, flexion and abduction. Now this next one is one of my favorites. I do this one just regularly because it's a great shoulder and thoracic um, stretch. So I'm going to show you from the front first and then I'll show you from the back to kind of get an idea of what exactly is going on. 
So you're just gonna lie on your side. You can rest your head. You can have a small pillow here if you'd prefer versus your arm. And then ideally you're gonna have your leg resting on something. If that's not possible and you just wanna have your legs here, that's fine. But what we're trying to do here is make sure that your leg stays either on your other knee or on a pillow or foam roller. You're gonna start fingertips and you're gonna rotate around about here where people start to feel a bit of a sticking point. And if you can't go any further than that, that's fine. You're just gonna come back through and then start over and see if you're able to kind of get past that sticking point each time. If you are able to go all the way around, you're just gonna to try to keep fingers super close to the floor and then you're gonna take it back the other direction. So you'll feel a lot of stretch through here in the pec and then after you kind of get past that, you'll feel a lot more trunk rotation taking place there. So I'll show you from the back side. So again, you're gonna keep the fingertips as close as you can, keeping that other knee down and then sliding around and then coming back up the same direction. Around, back up. So this one is pretty tough for a lot of people um, that have shoulder tightness. So it can be great for any type of shoulder stretch, but obviously really, really good when you're trying to stretch out uh, the pack and get things moving again after your pacemaker. So I uh, hope that helps. If you guys have any uh, specific questions um, regarding some exercises to do, um, if you kind of have some special circumstances, I would be happy to uh, help you out. Just give me a shout.